friend, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. Um, I'm, I'm just amazed. I, I talk, I hear my mom talking in my, in the back of my brain. She's on that shoulder. She always said, Lisa, if you make a deal, you got to hold up your end of the bargain. And Lisa, if you have a right to something, you have an obligation as well. Seems like we want to pick up one end of the stick, but not the other. So I want to take a moment and just, since it's Mother's Day, and thank my mom for all the wisdom and guidance that she has given me on rights and responsibilities. And if you pick up one end of the stick, you pick up the other. So thanks, Mom. Um, switching gears a, a, a minute. Uh, in 2021, uh, you had a hearing before this committee, and you said you believed all colleges right, um, should be treated equally. Is that still your position? I do. Awesome. And I want to protect the students and the taxpayers, but give, uh, but, but the idea that the department can act unilaterally to forgive student debt using the borrower defense program to discharge student debt to me is alarming. It's concerning. And I hear my mom in the back of my uh, back of my head. Mr. Secretary, I'm trying to get some data before I just talk about opinions. Mm -hmm. Do you know or can you tell me how many public universities have had claims approved under the loan discharge program? Are you saying the borrower defense uh, yeah. actions? Yeah, I, I can have my staff reach out to you with specifics about that, but the borrower defense is Wonderful. really protecting students from bad actors that are absolutely. selling them. Absolutely, yes. and I think there's bad actors in public universities, yeah. private universities. Pro I mean, yeah. you're always going to find bad actors. I wish we were all perfect, but that's not the world we live in. Um, do you have the, or can you get me the data on the amount of number of career colleges that have also uh, um, had claims approved? Sure, we'd be happy to follow up with okay. information. Okay, when can I expect uh, that? Well, uh, we engage in... Uh, feedback and, and communication with uh, the committees regularly, so I'll, we'll make sure we're, we act in good faith to continue that uh, communication to get you the information. So July 1st, in a way. you think we should at least have I'll have my team reach it? out to your team very soon to share when you can expect that. I'm, I'm sorry. You have no have idea my, when you're going to be able to get me the data? Well, you know, we have uh, 45 op uh, letters that were sent to us, and we're working in good faith to make sure we communicate But But it's reasonably. really simple. I'm just trying to get the data on mm -hmm. how many public universities and private universities have had claims approved under this loan discharge program. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that information could be gathered, and I'll have my team reach out to yours. Is it? I appreciate that. I'm kind of looking for a date. Yeah. That's fine. I'll have my team reach out to yours to share with you a date that you can receive that information. It's important that you have the information. and it's I would agree, too. And with as much money as we give the Department of Education and as much as we care about the students, I would think somebody has this data. Yeah. So can, I mean, you want to say August 1st? Uh, I mean, that's like three months. I would think we could be able to get this data yeah. in a three-month period of time. Yeah, we think it's really important to communicate with you, and I'll have my team reach out to yours to to share a timeline of when we can get that information to you. Am I the only one that thinks that? Okay, all right. Well, thank you for your speedy expedience on this. Okay, um, I understand that there's also been a lot of FOIA requests made by private organizations and institutions trying to get information on these claims and have not received them yet. Has your department um, been processing and responding to these requests? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, the Department of Education is committed to being very clear and providing information with oversight. We take that very serious, seriously. We just We're don't very take the timeline free, seriously. We've provided over 2,400 pages of documents in this Congress alone. Uh, we've responded to uh, 45 letters this Congress alone, and we're going to continue to take that very seriously. How many because employees oversight do you have in the department? How, how many employees do you have in your department, and what's your budget? Roughly. Um, uh, under 4,000. Under four, okay. Okay. So I'm going to take that as a yes. You have been processing and responding to these FOIA requests? We take that very seriously, and that's, we that's have That's a great been. answer to a question I didn't ask. So can we just stick with the question? Yes or no? I mean, we learned that early in education. Has your department been processing and responding to the FOIA requests? Yes, they have. Yeah. No, they haven't. I'll even accept an I don't know. Yeah, we take FOIA requests very seriously, and we have been responding. So, yes. 
We take FOIA requests very seriously and we have been responding. What color is your suit? I'd be happy to focus on yeah, the budget. Respect for the secretary. I'm just trying to figure out if we can answer a question. I'd be okay. happy to All right. speak Madam to Madam Chair, I think this well. information is vital not only for the oversight role, but also to understand President's request for a 600% increase in the budget in the Student Financial Aid Office. I hope that you're willing to work with me to get this data from the department and get it in actually a timely fashion for the American taxpayers. Ah. So with that, Madam Chair, I yield Thank back. Thank you, Ms. McLean. I intend to try to